So do you feel like MSNBC is doing enough to help the Harris campaign? I mean, they're doing all they can. Meet Basil Hamden, a writer and producer for MSNBC's weekend show, Iman. Basil also reveals that, quote, what her message of the day is, is their MSNBC's message of the day. Uh, what have they done to help the Harris campaign? Amplify her message. What, what her message of the day is, is their message of the day. Hamden revealed that MSNBC is the Democratic Party's mouthpiece and is doing anything to get Kamala elected. Hamden says this news network is indistinguishable from the Democratic Party. So is MSNBC just like doing whatever it takes to get Kamala elected? Yes, yes. It hammers home the point that I'm making that this news network is indistinguishable from the party. Are they the just the Democratic Party's mouthpiece? Exactly. MSNBC is the Democratic Party's mouthpiece. Yeah, yeah. Basil calls MSNBC viewers brainwashed and states that MSNBC made their viewers dumber over the years. Viewers get mad at the guests or the hosts if the hosts were to criticize Democrats. They've made their viewers dumber over the years. I think brainwashing and dumbing down. It's bad. Aggressive. I get it. Helps Trump. And when she's delivering these messages now, I think she keeps getting better. Kamala Harris is telling the truth. The hate campaign against Kamala Harris has begun. They purposefully pronounce her name wrong. But as a black woman, the product of a mixed marriage, she's an inspiration. I don't know, Nicole, vote for her or don't vote for her, but isn't it great to just have a positive conversation right now? Last week, we saw Vice President Kamala Harris's first mainstream media solo interview of her presidential run with MSNBC's Stephanie Rule. Many people were stating how much of a softball interview it was. Here's a clip from that. I just want to ask you yes or no. Okay. At any point in your life, have you served two all beef patties, special sauce, <laughs> lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, <laughs> on a sesame, sesame seed, seed bun, bun, working at a McDonald's? <laughs> yes or no? That's it. I have. Okay. With that, OMG decided to look into MSNBC and their cozy relationship with the vice president. Meet Basil Hamden, a writer and producer for MSNBC's weekend show, Iman. Hamden's background includes working at the Huffington Post as a news director and being the executive producer for Michael Moore. Basil met our OMG American swiper on the dating app, Bumble, and divulged about his job to our undercover journalist. Remind me where you worked. Right now, I'm working at MSNBC. What do you do? What's your title? I'm a writer, producer. So I For... have a, 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 a live news show on the weekends. Okay, what is it called? Uh, Amen. 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 Yeah, I've it's... heard of that. Basil Hamden, producer at MSNBC, states that MSNBC is helping the Kamala Harris campaign, stating they are, quote, amplifying her message. Basil also reveals that, quote, what her message of the day is, is their MSNBC's message of the day. So do you feel like MSNBC is doing enough to help the Harris campaign? I mean, they're doing all they can. So. Which is why. Uh, what have they done to help the Harris campaign? Amplify her message. What, what her message of the day is, is their message of the day. Does anyone really trust the healthcare system? Well, thankfully, there still are some good guys left in healthcare, like our great friends at The Wellness Company. The Wellness Company has been with OMG since day one. And now they're proud to introduce the ultimate first aid emergency kit, meticulously created to ensure your access to life-saving prescription medications, personal protective equipment, and other essentials by empowering you to take control of your health journey. Now you and your loved ones will be prepared for the next shortage or whatever they try to pull. My team and I have our kits with us in the field at all times. Don't get caught without the medications you need. The Wellness Company's First Aid Medical Emergency Kit can make all the difference. Order your medical emergency kit now and save 15% by using code OMG. That's twc.health slash OMG Go to twc.health slash omg. Again, that's twc.health slash omg. Our OMG American Swiper questioned Basil Hamden about MSNBC's close relationship to the Democratic Party. Hamden revealed that MSNBC is the Democratic Party's mouthpiece and is doing anything to get Kamala elected. Hamden says this news network is indistinguishable from the Democratic Party. What you were saying earlier that the MSNBC aligns too closely with the Democratic Party line. Yeah, so they, they're, they're often saying the same exact things. The type of people who work 
in democratic politics and in the campaign are the same, a lot of the same type of people that would appear on air on MSNBC. It hammers home the point that I'm making that this news network is indistinguishable from the party. Are it's they the, just the Democratic Party's mouthpiece? Exactly. MSNBC is the Democratic Party's mouthpiece. Yes. Yes. So is MSNBC just like doing whatever it takes to get Kamala elected? Yes. Yes. Even if it, there are like clear contradictions that would potentially alienate some of the viewers? Yes. But unfortunately... That's bad journalism, right? It is, but unfortunately... <laughs> They've made their viewers dumber over the years. Fortunately, they're not brainwashing people with racist propaganda like Fox. But particularly post-Trump, from Trump on, uh -huh. they, they've really narrowed their audience's mind to the point where even when guests go on their show to criticize Democrats, People get mad at the guests. It begs the question, why isn't MSNBC's motto, the network indistinguishable from the Democratic Party? Per Basil Hamden, MSNBC is nothing more than a network that is solely based on helping the Democratic candidate, Kamala Harris. Just this week, MSNBC panelist Eddie Glaud stated Kamala Harris has to win. And if she doesn't, our young children in America will have the threat of being bombed at school because of Donald Trump. We got to come out and try to figure out how to turn out in, in the large, in the large historic numbers, because we got to keep this troglodyte out of office. Because if he comes in, our babies are going to be in danger. Because remember, those young children are going to grow up with the memory of having to not go to school for the threat of bombs. When she needs to bust him in his mouth, I'm, I'm saying it like that because he's dangerous. He's dangerous to particular people. These are very peculiar people that are at MSNBC. Basil Hamden, producer at MSNBC, dives even further into how MSNBC hosts and guests are so in sync, they will finish each other's sentences. Do you feel like MSNBC doesn't necessarily tell the truth? Uh, I think they do from their perspective, yeah. They do. But from like an objective standpoint? They're, they're, it's very partisan Democrat. They're, they're, their problem, and I think they would have a bigger audience it would be if they if they were less tied to the Democratic Party itself. They should be progressive. They should tell the truth from a progressive perspective. But they shouldn't be tied to a political party. How are they currently tied to the Democratic Party? They just are way too cozy with Democratic politicians. How? I can't tell. If you watch an interview with a Democratic politician, they just finish each other's sentences. The anchor and the politician are just in total agreement about every, everything. While investigating subjects, our OMG journalists always find that the subjects we investigate like to criticize or demean the very people they work for or entertain. Basil Hamden is no exception. Basil calls MSNBC viewers brainwashed and states that MSNBC made their viewers dumber over the years. Doesn't sound like they believe in their product. They've made their viewers dumber over the years. Viewers get mad at the guests or the hosts if the hosts were to criticize Democrats. Because they're so brainwashed. Yes. Into yes. thinking that the Democratic Party can do no wrong. Not that they can't do any wrong. It's maybe they can do wrong. I just don't want to hear about it. Don't say it out loud. Because if you say it out loud, it helps Trump. I think brainwashing and dumbing down. It's bad. Aggressive. I get it. Helps Trump. Ah, well, here we go. The market has plunged again. The writing is on the wall. It's time to take action. The elites and big banks are pulling the strings, creating financial chaos to strip you of your wealth. Don't let them win. Call my friends at Bishop Gold Group right now. They'll help you shield your assets with gold and silver, the ultimate fortress against this financial tyranny. Act now before it's too late. Protect your future, protect your freedom, protect your retirement. I'll put the link and phone number in my bio so you can get a hold of them anytime. While at this meeting with our OMG American Swiper, Basil Hamden, MSNBC producer, did not want other people to hear the conversation he was having with our investigative reporter saying, we shouldn't speak too loudly about the issue. What is he ashamed of? You see what? Hi. So you know people here? About that. Okay.
little did he know who he was talking to. As always, if you're on the inside of the mainstream media, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, we know you like us. We know you're fans of us. You just can't say it publicly. Well, guess what? It's time to step up. It's time to stand up. It's time to be brave. If you're sick of the biased news coverage, if you are tired of participating in a system you don't believe in, we urge you to contact us, tips at O'KeefeMediaGroup.com. That's tips at O'KeefeMediaGroup.com. We'll have an OMG journalist reach out to you. You can also DM us. Our DMs are open. We actually return our DMs. We call people back. We have a room of people right now just on the phone with you. Thank you. Stay tuned. Check out LineInTheSandMovie.com, premiering next week. What's happening inside that facility? You know what's happening here? They all protect each other. The NGOs. They got a spotlight on us. The federal government. This is dangerous. I don't think we can trust anybody. America! America! We made it! I'm the king of the world! Follow the journey of the immigrants. No. I can't do this, guys. The journey of the children. Oh, this is big time. We're, at, we're in a cartel tunnel now, dog. We're in a cartel tunnel. And the journey into human nature. Some things can't be read in a book or a newspaper. They must instead be lived. There's nobody here to stop this. There's nobody 